Tonight we are tracking another major shakeup at the White House. Steve Bannon, one of President Trump's most high profile and controversial advisors, is leaving the administration. Today's announcement comes at the end of a rocky week for the president after his comments on the violence in Charlottesville caused a firestorm. Iowa News reporter Ted Nisi has been gathering local reaction all day. He joins us now with the details. Steve Bannon's official White House title was chief strategist, and he played a key role in President Trump's election victory last year. But he was also a lightning rod throughout his eight months in Washington. Mike Flynn, Sean Spicer, Reince Priebus, Anthony Scaramucci. Now, Steve Bannon, the latest top Trump advisor to exit the administration. The news confirmed Friday in a brief statement that said White House Chief of Staff John Kelly and Steve Bannon have mutually agreed today would be Steve's last day. We are grateful for his service and wish him the best. Bannon only spent a year working for Donald Trump, first on his campaign and then in the White House, but he was prominent enough to land on the cover of Time magazine and become the subject of a best-selling new biography. As former chairman of conservative website Breitbart News, Bannon was also closely associated with the so-called alt-right. Congressman David Cicilline among those who argued he should have never been appointed. This is an individual who has built a media empire by catering to white supremacists, members of the KKK and neo-Nazis, who's led the effort in the White House to really have America retreat from its leadership in the world. Democrats weren't the only ones agreeing it was time for Bannon to go. Former State Rep Joe Trillo, who chaired Trump's campaign in Rhode Island, tells Eyewitness News he was, quote, relieved by the change. Trillo says he thinks the president doesn't need anybody creating more distractions than he already has. Analysts say Bannon's departure may be a sign that Trump's new chief of staff, retired Marine General John Kelly, is exerting firmer control over a White House that's been plagued by infighting and leaks. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.